Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Glad you're joining us today. I hope you're having a great Monday morning. Uh, we're, we're just getting started. We're here on site. And so, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Hines, and this is Construction Junction. All right, so today, um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I've done one before, uh, but uh, we're going to do a product review unboxing. Um, and so this will just be the, the first stage. Uh, we bought a, a new tool. And the reason why we're doing this is because recently I had some clients inquire about doing some of their own trim work at their house. So they, they weren't crying about what tools should they buy, you know, how safe are they, what's the best to buy. Because they, they want to really get into their homes and learn how to install some trim, install, install some casing, do some things that they feel that they can handle. So, you know, today uh, we are going to show you the, the tools that we use, specifically the uh, finish nailer that we use. And this is over years of trying and learning and learning new products. This is the product that we use, so, and I think it'll be helpful for others. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and show exactly how we use it, what we use it, and why we use it. So uh, follow along with us in the video, and just know I'm not wearing this uh, fuzzy thing right here for no reason. It's pretty windy out here, so I see you laughing. So let's let's uh, keep that down. I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help here. So let's get into the video. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Testing, testing. All right, let's get into it. All right, so today what we have is a rigid finish. Actually, it's a brad nailer. This is a rigid brad nailer. So it shoots 18 gauge nails, which is what we, we prefer to use in trim. Uh, so the difference between this a brad nailer and a finish nailer is that a finish nailer is just a little thicker. So the hole that you shoot it's going to be thicker, so you're going to have to address that hole a little, a, a little more. So brad nails have the strength to hold, you know, baseboards, casings, uh, any kind of moldings that that you that you do, and they go up to two and an eighth inch uh, brads. Um, but the big plus is, is that it, it's a smaller hole, it's a thinner nail than a, a finished nail. So it just helps you in terms of finishing the job. Uh, as a whole, you know, it's less work. So th this is what, what we use on, on, on all of our baseboards, all of our trim work uh, and things of that nature. Now, this works for um, wood framing, you know, so naturally this won't work for metal framing. In, in that case, you have to use a, a trim screw to screw into that metal. But 90% of the homes out there, a lot of the projects, unless you get into like a commercial project or something like that, it's gonna have wood framing. So we use this almost every day um, in, in what we do. So I just wanted to, to do an opening. Uh, we chose the uh, Rigid brand, which is a Home Depot brand. Uh, one, because I like orange. Secondly, because all of our other power tools are the uh, Rigid brand. So all of our cordless saws, cordless uh, screws, screw guns, cordless, cordless drills, cordless lights, cordless everything. So typically, if you go with a brand, then you're gonna go with it throughout everything because these days, every tool doesn't come with a, a new battery. So that means you're gonna have to buy a battery and a charger for every different tool if you buy different brands. So we chose to, to uh, go with Rigid. It doesn't mean that we're gonna stay with Rigid. Um, but they, they, they're working for us, they've worked for us for, for years, and they're constantly improving them uh, year after year. Like right now, this, this one is an upgraded model because it has the uh, brushless motor, which is what you want in, in most of the tools if you're going to use them uh, on an a ongoing basis like we do. If you use them every day, then you want the most quality product possible. The other good thing of, about Rigid is that they give you a, a lifetime you know, guarantee. So uh, as long as you re register them online. So if you register them online and a tool breaks, 
you can send them in and they'll either fix it or they'll give you an, another new tool. So that that makes it nice. Uh, it, it makes it a no brainer. And I think most of the bigger companies are, are now doing that too, just to compete. So that's a big plus. So we, we have all rigid right now. We do have some, some other tools like uh, corded tools in, in other brands. Um, just because we found those to be easier to use or they had the features that, that we needed. Um, but in this case, we're working with uh, with Bridget. So this same charger and, and battery pack that I have here, whether it's, as long as it's all 18 volt <clears throat> and 18 volt tools, then it's going to work throughout everything. Um, so let's, let's begin the unboxing. Okay, so on the box... Just to start, you know, obviously this tool here, it is a cordless tool. So there's no hoses, there's no cartridges, there's no anything like that. It's completely ran off of the, the, the power that's supplied by, by the battery. Uh, so, so there's nothing additional needed other than the, the brads themselves. Um, like I said, it, it's a, a brushless motor, so it's gonna work faster. It's gonna have twice the, the lifetime span of the traditional corded, cordless uh, tools. It does come with, with a bag and, and it comes with a few nails. Now, again, th this is an 18 gauge brad nail. So when you're purchasing nails for this tool, you gotta make sure that you don't purchase 16 gauge finish nails. Because if you do, then you're gonna have a problem with, with the tool. It's gonna damage the inside of the tool uh, if you shoot it, which will then create uh, the, it, then if you change it to, to brad nails after that, the tool is not going to shoot the nail all the way through the surface. So just keep that in mind. You, know, you have to get 18 gauge. Uh, and it shoots 5 eighths brad nails all the way up to 2 and 1 eighths inch brad nails, which is, that, that's pretty long. Um, if you have, you know, you're trying to reach the, the framing and it's a thick surface, you can get 2 and an eighth inch brad nails to um, make it work. So let's see what's on the back of the box. Well, obviously, we talked about the uh, lifetime warranty. So it, it's made of uh, magnesium. So the, the, the frame of it is going to be metal. Uh, this has a, a transparent magazine. So that's where you put the, the, the brads in. So you can see how many nails you have left. You don't have to open the machine to, to see that. Uh, it switches from a single shot to a multi shot. Like, if you want to hold it down and shoot several you know, shots all at once, you have that ability. You can also adjust the depth of the, of the nail so, if it, you don't, so that it doesn't go too deep or it doesn't go deep enough. You can, it's an adjustment on you uh, to, to, to deal with that. Um, and, and the way it's made, it's, it's a uh, jam free you know, uh, construction. So you won't have any jams. Uh, and if anything does happen, there, there's a, a clip that you can open to, uh, to, to look at the inside of the tool to see if any dirt or debris has gotten inside and you can clean that out. And it also comes with a, a belt clip, which is highly usable. A lot of the tools don't, don't come with it. So I'll show, show you that in a few. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. First thing we have here is the bag. So a nice rigid bag that fits the tools and, and some nails. Uh, has a nice deep pocket in here. And, and it's made out of good construction. So a lot of times in the past you, you get these tool bags and, and they rip and they break and they're almost useless at that point. But this is somewhat waterproof as well. So it's like a plastic surface inside. Uh, that will protect it from some level of water uh, from getting to your tools. You know? So that, that's a good thing. Uh, bag. It, it doesn't have any, any pockets on it, uh, but it's a nice sturdy bag. Uh, and of course, it has this it's an embroidery there on the front. You know, it's their trademark. So we'll set that to the side. All right. So here's the tool. It comes in plastic, and right away I can see uh, something branded on here. 
that lets you know it's an 18 gauge brad nailer so that you don't get that confused and they have a system called hyperdrive so i'm, I'm assuming this is what uh, allows you to not need a cartridge or any other kind of power source to uh, sink, sink those nails consistently because it, it's all about the, the consistency of, of of the equipment um, the difference between a, a good tool you know brad nailer or finish nailer in that case is not only can it shoot um, one nail you know exactly the way you want it with the correct depth but how can it shoot 50 nails so if you're doing a whole house or a whole basement or something like that you want to be able to shoot consistently all the way through uh, the piece that you're using so that you don't have to stop give the tool time to, to charge up or whatever the case and then shoot again you want to be able to consistently shoot um, over and over and over again and get that depth 100% correct so that's, that's what we have in the box it's pretty simple put this stuff back in so here's our clip and, and, and we'll talk about this later this is one of the most useful things in the box really is the clip and i'll show you why in a minute and it, of course it comes with a manual and all your uh, registration instructions so that you can get your uh, lifetime warranty super important don't lose this uh you know store it away so that you know you can get to this at any moment all right, set this to the side. So here's the tool. You know, Bridget branding. They're letting you know uh, what it's made out of magnesium construction. Uh, what's so important about that is that these tools get dropped. Um, there's no way around it. The clip helps, um, but along the way, it's going to get dropped. So you need to have a good sturdy tool that's also lightweight. Um, you know, you don't want it so heavy that you can't hold it for a whole day because sometimes you're shooting this thing all day, literally. You know, you're shooting a piece, you're going to cut it, you're going to come back, shoot again. So it has to be comfortable, it has to be balanced, and it has to be constructed with good material so that you don't drop this two or three times and the plastic starts to break. So anywhere that can contact the ground has to be a surface that can handle a drop. And this one looks, looks great for that, that instance. Uh, just working through the tool real quick. Um, I see it, it comes with the, the tip, this orange tip. And so what that does, it allows you to shoot the nail and, and don't create a mark on the wood. So for instance, if you're pushing down on a piece of wood, it's gonna, and if this was just metal, it would want to create like a dimple. So that dimple, you're going to have to fix or repair with wood filler or however, you know, you decide to do that. But with this protection here, soft rubber tip here, it's going to uh, save you from doing more repairs than what's necessary. So that's a, that's a good feature. You can see this is the uh, clip here that allows you to open. Stuck the instructions in there so it doesn't blow away. So th this allows you to open the tool and look in here, see if there's any dirt or, or debris in here. And it easily opens and easily shuts. Uh, so that, and sometimes you, you have to grease this area in here just to keep everything moving in the correct way. Uh, right here, we, we have an adjustment. So this is a, a depth adjustment. So this allows you to shoot the nail further in the, in the material or you know, back off a little. Uh, this section here is the clear uh, magazine. So you can see the nails that, that you're putting in there. So it's good to, to be able to see that so you don't have to, as you're working, guessing and open it up and keep checking. You can see exactly where you're at and how many nails you have. And this is just the back here where the battery goes. There's one here, it easily clips in and you're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out for a moment, but you can see how that works. And it has a trigger. Uh, down here it has the uh, single nail or multi nail shot. Now when I'm shooting brad nails or finished nails, I don't necessarily want to shoot two or three at a time. Uh, I like to control what I'm doing, so I always have it set on one. Um, really, 
unless I was using a framing gun, I never really needed to shoot multiple nails at once, especially in a, a finished nail or a, a brad nailer. Um, but you know, they have it, some people must do it. It's just not my cup of tea. So, just, just move, moving along. Um, you know, it has simple adjustments here. Um, like I said, for, for the depth and uh, the nails. But, you know, pretty simple. Like, anybody can, can pick this up day one and start using it. Uh, some things you want to be concerned about when you're doing this is that this is a power tool. So, you know, obviously it's not made for our kids, uh, adults only. Um, you have to have, you know, your safety uh, equipment on because this is a gun. Uh, no, no matter how you look at it, it does shoot uh, a nail. So it's made so that it will only shoot if it's pressed on a surface and then you pull the trigger, it'll shoot. But I always tell everybody, don't assume that, that that's the case. Always, you know, handle it with care, handle it as if it is a, a weapon. Um, and don't assume that, you know, it won't shoot. Uh, without it being pressed. It, it is a gun, so definitely not made for kids. You know, you want to have your uh, safety glasses on hand uh, because you don't want the brad to bounce off of a piece of, of material that you're using. and It can bounce and, and, and come at you. So you want to make sure you, you have your safety goggles on. Um, you know, just keep that in mind. So here's some of the nails uh, that, that I've had already. Uh, that, that can work with this. Now, it says on the tool, uh, like I said, it uses 5 8 inch nails up to 2 and an eighth inch. But the millimeters are important. You know, how thick the brad nail is, is important. Um, this one, for example, uh, goes up to 54 millimeters thick. You know, because that is how this tool is constructed inside. The, the shaft is only a certain size so if you go over 54 millimeters you're going to have a problem with shooting now what you would want is to be underneath of that you don't want to be close to, to that number and for example i have a two inch brad here that's uh, 18 gauge um, and this particular one which is a, a quarter cable nail is 51 uh, millimeters so i'm underneath of that 54 and they do come in different sizes based on the length of the nail. Like I have a, a DeWalt pack of nails here uh, that are inch and a half, still 18 gauge, but the millimeters on this is, is 38. So that's much lower than, than the two inch nails. More times than not, we're often using <clears throat> the uh, two inch brad nails uh, just because we, we know that it's going to reach the, the frame, you know, even with uh, different depth surfaces whether it's plaster or whatever's the case, we know that it's going to reach the wood. So we use the, the two inch more than anything else, but all of the other sizes work as well and actually work a little easier because it is uh, thinner. Um, so now let's talk about this uh, clip here. So the clip is nice because you don't want to lose this screw that, that comes in the pack because whether you're right-handed or left-handed will dictate what side of the tool that you'll put it on. You know, either, see, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it on the left side. So I'll, I'll screw, screw that in right there. If I'm not using the tool, instead of putting it on the ground, I can actually clip it to my belt or clip it to the, the uh, pocket of my pants. Uh, so it's always with me. So when I go back and forth to the table, it's, it's right there with me. I don't have to go get it again. Or, or even on my tool belt, I can just clip it as opposed to that extra step. So it's all about being efficient. Um, and this is one of the ways that, that allow you to be efficient. And let me show you real quickly on this, on this impact screw gun. I have to clip on the right side. And normally I just clip it right here and, and it stays pr pretty much there. So I can go and I can work when I need a screw. I, I, I have it right here. So same thing for the nail gun. Uh, that clip is super important. As soon as you get the tool, go ahead and install it because this is the one thing that gets lost all the time, pretty much right away. And they got one little screw, so you need to put it on there. 
And if somebody's going to use it that's left-handed, they can just take it off and put it on the other side of the tool. And it still work, works for them as well. So I'm going to make sure I don't lose this. Set it right there. Uh, so that's pr pretty much it. Uh, nice, simple, easy tool. Now, if we didn't have this, and we didn't have the cordless option, we would be forced to, to have the whole setup, which is the, the, the compressor, and the hose, and a gun. Uh, so this eliminates two parts of that, that you don't have to have with you on your truck at all times, uh, taking up space. Uh, so this is just so much more convenient. Now, would a homeowner want to do this? Now, would want to, to purchase a cordless one? I would say, yeah. Um, it's a little bit more pricey, but not a whole lot more pricey in the sense of if you bought, you know, the, the compressor, the hose, and all the fittings that you need to, to make it work. Um, and you can just store it in your in your garage or your shop and be able to go straight to it and, and know where it's at. It's a little bit more pricey, but it's worth it in, in, in my mind, you know. You don't have to hold on to a whole lot of different items. So that's why these sets, they, they work so great. When you can use the same battery chargers and batteries for everything, it's super convenient. Um, and, and I do recommend it. Uh, oh, one other key point that I, I want to make real quick is the light that, that's on the tool. So when you press it down on your surface, this, this LED light is going to turn on so that you can see exactly what you're doing, what you're shooting, what angle are you shooting, so that also makes it nice. Um, the other nice thing about this, this piece of equipment, is that it's not really loud. You know, back in the day, these uh, cordless versions were extremely loud and really weren't dependable. Um, but, you know, us at, here at Construction Junction, we like to be on top of, uh, of technology. So we're constantly buying the, the new products so we can see the improvements that's being made from year to year so, that, so we can pass that on you know, to the different people to make life easy. And I think this is a tool that does that. It makes life easier. Whether you're a homeowner or you do this every day. So I, I really I like this, this tool. This tool is a, is a win in my book. As a matter of fact, we have two of them. And you know, we will in the future plan to try other uh, brands as we move along so we can give you guys more information. Uh, but right now, this is what we use. So now I'm gonna get into uh, shooting a couple pieces just to show you like what it sounds like and what it looks like and what the depth part of it is. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get into that section. All right, so we're, we're gonna get into the section where we're gonna uh, make a couple shots. I'm gonna go ahead and get my safety goggles on. So we're going to start with the uh, six and a half shot, just so, so you can see how to load the machine, how it works. You know the butt here, the release. If you open that, I normally hold hold my gun uh, vertical like this, and then slide this in here, then just push close until it clicks. Now we're uh, ready to shoot. So what I'm going to do is hang this piece of wood over the edge a little bit. Now this is an inch and a half shot, this is an inch and a half piece of wood, so it shouldn't go through. But let's just see what happens. Uh, so, oh, one key thing. It's not going to shoot unless you have a battery in it. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Click that in place. Alright, now now remember, it's not going to shoot until you press down and then pull the trigger. I have it set to one shot at a time. Uh, so, that, that's what we have. So now, you know, we'll take a look. I have enough shots in here. I have my battery in. So as I press down, this light is going to turn on so, so you can see what you're shooting. Obviously, we're outside, so I can see what I'm shooting. But let's just see where it's set at right now. So, so that noise that you heard is, is pretty much it. Not super loud at all. Now, I'm down about a quarter inch into the piece. And you can see it, like, poked out of here a little bit. Uh, but that's not a bad depth. I like it because it went all the way down clean. But let's let's change the uh, the depth on the machine. Let's bring it up some. We'll bring it all the way up and see if it still shoots into the piece. So now I'm set all the way out. So let's, let's let's make another shot. So 
So that's all the way out. And it didn't come through this side, but it's, it's still sunk. So what that tells me is that this piece of wood is, is, is soft. So it's not a hard, you know, uh, piece of wood. If you were shooting this in hardwood flooring, you would have a harder time trying to sink this. So that's what the depth adjustment is for. So I'm gonna put it back close to where I had it. And we're gonna change over to the two inch screw. I mean the uh, two inch brad, you know, see where we're at. Now keep in mind, this one shot really easy. This is the 38 millimeter inch and a half, 18 gauge brad now. So now we're working with a two inch, 51 millimeter, 18 gauge brad now. So this is a thicker, and let's see how, how this tool responds to the longer nail that's also thicker. Right. We'll take a shot here. It's great. Um, it really didn't feel any different. And that's a half inch longer. And you can see it shot out the other side. So the, the depth is very similar to when I had the depth all the way out on the inch and a half. But it's two inches. So it didn't shoot in as much because it is a longer nail. But, I mean, we're still... More than an eighth in the wood, which is perfect. I can fill this hole easily and move on with my trim. And just keep in mind, most trim work is going to be harder wood than this. Uh, so, you know, just be mindful of that. So, let, let me try to adjust it all the way out again and see what we end up with. So, that's adjusted all the way out and pre pretty much the same deal. It's up just a tad from, from the first shot, and both went all the way through, which is what we want. So this is a very strong tool, and you can see it doesn't take much uh, power. It's not very loud at all. So this is a, a great tool to have, you know, whether you're a professional in the trade or your homeowner. I think this is a tool, yes, a homeowner can have and handle and you know attempt some projects at, at their house uh, and, and be safe that's what's important and like i told you from the beginning because i have this this rubber piece on here there's no dimples around around my wood even though i was pressing down hard on the wood at the time um, so this, this piece of equipment is a go 100 percent a go uh, like i said we have two of them and you know we love them I hope this, this video was useful to you. Um, comment below if you have any other questions about it. Uh, we will do a, a long-term use uh, at some point in time uh, with, with this piece of equipment. So just stay with us, follow us. And again, if you, if you like the shirts that we have on the merch, uh, please, and you want to support the channel, uh, send us a, a message. Uh, again, my um, email is springdalecc at gmail.com. And, you know, you, you just, you know, let, let us know that you like to support the channel and uh, buy a shirt. Uh, soon we're also going to have hats also. We're working on our website uh, so that you can freely just, just purchase from there. But until then, if you want one, let us know. Let us know your size and, and, and which design you would like. Uh, I'm going to put a few up here. And so, you know, if you want them, let us know. Let us know your shirt size. And we'll send it out to you. Uh, let, let, let you know the price. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you hadn't already. Comment below. Let, let us know. Ask us questions. We're here to answer it. Um, as many as we can. You know, thank you to the uh, client that, that inquired about the finish nail. Because that's what pushed us to, to put this video out. And give more information to help more people. Um, you know, from my experience, I'm not here to to uh, make every dollar from people. I think the more people can learn how to do things on their own, it, it helps them, right? And also they, they, they can have fun. Uh, they can do something new. And you know, you do save money that way. But there's no doubt about it. So that you can do do more in the future. So, so try a few things, you know, anybody can, can do this. Anybody can do this. It just takes a, a little bit of learning. And that's why we do these videos so that over time you can feel more confident to try something. So that, that's what this shirt is about, to, together what we create, and that's what we're doing here. So stay with us, follow us, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.